Gray swaps Florida for Dublin's liberties tonight when he returns home for the gathering at 7 o'clock. Now on one, Tracy is threatened by a face from her past in Shortland Street. You tried to buy this exact same painting? Really? Entirely predictable you'd find yourself a sugar daddy, Brooke. I'm sorry, but that's what Chris is. Suit you. you think? What's it doing here? Don't worry, it's licensed. Oh, that makes me feel better. Did you find the paracetamol? I did. Seriously, what's with the weaponry? Have you ever been in a situation? Well, you wish you had a gun and you knew damn well you'd be within your eyes to fire it. Don't answer that, I know you have. I'm listening. I was just a kid. It was the school holidays. Mum had taken me up to the family batch for a few days. Dad was coming up for the weekend. I remember hearing the car in the drive and running out to meet him. But it wasn't him. It was this bloke, Keith, my auntie Jo had been going out with. I knew something was off straight away. He had this mad look in his eyes. What did he want? Joe had walked out on him a couple of days ago. And Keith had got it into his head that she was out of the batch with us. He tore through the place looking for her. Didn't find her, of course. And then Mum wouldn't tell him where she really was, so he pulled a knife. Held it to her throat. What? That's what Dad walked in on. I was waiting for him to play the hero, but he was more freaked out than Mum was. She's the one who talked Keith around. But it could have gone either way. The girl was off his face. Wow. I've never felt so helpless in my life. I never want to feel that way again. Have you ever used it? And I hope I never have to. But if the time comes, I won't think twice. Is there one on the other side of the bed? <laughs> now that would be dangerous. Yeah, if we had an argument, pistols at dawn. <laughs> You'd be quite safe. I've never fired a gun in my life. Maybe I should teach you. <laughs> Maybe you should. Wow, it sounds like a good party. I'm sorry I had to work. You didn't miss much. A bunch of rich kids comparing the sizes of their portfolios. Yeah, what well, about that awful painting of Eastland? Yeah, I can't believe you paid so much for it. Well, maybe it was worth it. What do you know about art? Uh, how's your wine, Lip? It's okay, why? Just okay. Thousand dollars a bottle, that's all you can say. What? That is ridiculous. Yeah, but maybe it's worth it. What would you know about wine? Tell me you didn't pay that much for it. Well, of course I didn't. So then where did it come from? You really want to know? Probably not. Mm. Tasting better now, isn't it? Go on then. Help yourself to some more. Well, I want to know. It was just a gift from a satisfied customer. I do have them, you know. Did you have something to do with this? Kane gave it to him. Happy enough? Oh, well, we all know what that means, don't we? Well, you're telling the story. Uh, yes, please. Ladies first. No, thank you. Oh, damn, I thought you were a box of donuts. Hey, nice thought. I could use a sugar rush. Mm, it's more than wishful thinking. I put an order in. Here it is. Urgent provisions for Wing Commander Potts. Had the devil of the time negotiating enemy territory. One of the donuts didn't quite make it. Fa -fa 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 -fa. What's with the stupid voice? Message from HQ. Today is silly English accent day. Morale boosting exercise. What, what, what? All personnel expected to comply. Oh, please. Dashed serious business. No joking matter, eh? What? Pass them around. I can't eat them all. What's that? Sorry, come again. Having trouble with your accent. Not quite pockery, old chap. You're a dashed idiot. Is that pucker enough for you? No, Morrison, care to partake? Well, they should be crumpets, really. Ah, oh, topping idea. Permission to order crumpets for afternoon tea. Oh, just cut it out, will you? Whatever happened to laughter being the best medicine, eh? 
Well, there's a renal colic in cubicle two. Try curing that with a silly English accent and see how far you get. I need a doctor here, please. Work before pleasure. Remember that one? It's Fraser's bigamy case. He lost, but the summing up is worth reading. There's an ad here for duvet covers. 30% off. You said you needed a new one. Mum. Bateman told the court he had first met Miss Hediati while working as a volunteer in her home country. The two fell in love but were separated when an outbreak of violence prompted the immediate withdrawal of volunteers. The defendant returned to New Zealand where he later married. By the time Miss Hediati arrived in New Zealand as a political refugee, the defendant and his wife had two children. Realising that Miss Hediati risked imprisonment or death if forced to leave, Bateman offered to marry her to secure her safety in New Zealand. Never mind the wife and kids he's already had. Defence lawyer Fraser McKenzie told the court the defendant was unwilling to hurt his wife or children, so he chose not to end his first marriage and continued to be the supportive husband and father he had always been. Keeping a secret like that. Sure. Um, Insists he married again out of compassion, not lust. Mr McKenzie told the court the defendant had agonised over his decision, but had concluded that it would be wrong to elevate one love above another. Mr. Bateman had confronted a difficult moral conundrum and acted for the greater good, out of love, not selfishness. It goes on. OK, Margaret, just stand up for us and we'll sit you on this bed just here. Okay, good girl. It must hurt. It does. All right. Don't touch it. Well, I have to, just for a second. No! Whatever happened to the old stiff upper lip, eh, what? Just ignore him. Bah, shell shock, obviously. Word of advice on the QT, a case like this, no shame in resorting to bribery. You won't find one of those in the school tuck shop, not these days. Highest award for bravery. Think you're up for it? Sorry, Potsy, wall time. We all have to make the odd sacrifice. Hmm. I'll be gentle, I promise. It is so the right number. <sighs> Dash thing's gone haywire, has it? Perseverance, that's the key. There's your problem right there. The number one or the letter L. Which is it? By Jove, Morrison, I think you've cracked the code! Hey, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Ah, you're exhausted. Nerves are shot. I'm fine. But application for immediate leave granted. Staff HQ on the double for a few moments shut eye. That is an order. What are you doing here? What's a day off without an FPOS card? It was in my locker. I really should have left it there. I don't get paid till tomorrow. You won't need money where I'm taking you. Oh. Not telling. I want to surprise you. You've been doing a lot of that lately. <laughs> Can we wait till lunchtime? Well, I thought you were on a break. Five minutes to grab a coffee for Sarah. Looks like you could use it. Look. I've seen a price already. That's enough. Yeah, but it's down from last month. How long has this place been on the market? Ages. What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's a townhouse. So? So where am I going to put the swings and the sandpit and all the rest of it? What? The kids need somewhere to play. Well, there's a park just down the road and you can walk the dog there too. Dog? What kids? <laughs> Tracy! Tracy, wake up! Oh, sorry. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Gangster's mole. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Hello. Leopard skin shoes. Oh, extremely elegant and expensive leopard skin shoes. Who paid for them? I happen to have a very successful businessman for a boyfriend. It has perks. As long as you don't ask too many questions. I'm not the one going out with a gang member. At least I'm not trying to pretend he's something else. There's a big difference between Kingy and Karen. Karen wouldn't hurt anyone for a start. Uh, hello. Okay, so he may have lashed out a couple of times, but he wasn't well then. Okay. But that wine had to come from somewhere. I mean, it wasn't just sitting around Kane's private cellar now, was it? I'm not saying I approve. No, but as long as the jewellery and the shoes keep coming, you're happy to look the other way. Oh, I wish I could. Well, you have to if you want to stay with Kingy. Or do you seriously think he's going to change just for you? You're dreaming. Seeing you later on tonight. It's the recurry. Where did that wine come from? I can't 
can't tell you. But you do know? Yes. Kane just couldn't stock up at the supermarket like everyone else, could he? No. Hate to break it to you, but that's Kane on his best behaviour. I'm not stupid. Okay, I know what gangs are like, and I am sick of it. You can have the White House, or you can have me. You can't have both. I mean it. Choose. What did I say about the gang the last time we got together? You said you wanted out, and I believed you. I said I couldn't just walk away. There's people depending on me. I know. The boys. Amongst others, yes. What others? It doesn't matter. You say this is what it's always going to be like. You're always going to be hiding things from me. I gave you an option. You said you couldn't wait. Well, I thought I could handle it, okay? I can't. I can't stand the lies. I gave you my word. I wouldn't do anything stupid or anything to hurt you. It should be enough. But it's not. So what's the point? If you can't trust me, what sort of future do we have? Not much of one. It sounds to me like you're choosing the game. I will if you make me. Don't push it. When you said the words gum club, it still didn't sink in. I thought it was some hot new club you were going to invest in. Same me. I told you it was a surprise. What are we doing here? I'm a member. I got that. What am I doing here? Don't tell me you've never had a Charlie's Angels fantasy. Probably not the same one you've had. When I said you should teach me to shoot, I was joking. Yeah, no, you might as well give it a go. I've never even held a gun before last night. Never wanted to either. Try it. I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. It just feels wrong. Can we go now, please? Oh, what we got here then, chaps? This is Leo. Nausea and unremitting pain in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. Well, step this way, sir. How's that coffee? I usually make it too strong. Oh, it's fine, thanks. I'll get you a real one from the cafe. No, why should you go running around after me? You still don't look too flash, that's all. Self-inflicted, I overdid the bubbly at Ethan's last night, so I don't deserve your sympathy. Last chance, yes or no? I'll grab myself one. I'm, um, I'm going for lunch in a minute. I'll make sure you do. Yeah, I will, thanks. OK, mate, first things first, blood test and an x-ray. Give me a sec, I need to talk to radiology. Go for it. Leo behaving himself? All right, then you know that, chap. He's very well known to the entire Ferndale police force, although I had the pleasure of putting him inside a couple of years ago. You don't say. Don't get him angry. He's very handy with his fists. Well, what he get done for, then? Assault. A really nasty one. Well, look, maybe you should talk to Scotty about getting moved to the wards or something. What for? He didn't even recognise me. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Stop worrying. Oh, hi. I'm Kip Denton. Yeah, I need some x-rays. You just can't stay away from the place, can you? I'd be at home with my feet up if I didn't have a physio appointment. Well, it's good to see you're on the mend. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Yvonne. That would be me. Mrs. Mackenzie, isn't it? I think you know my husband. Yes, that's right. I know he's been calling you. What are you to him? That's what I'd like to know. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit parched. Why don't we go and have a cup of tea in the cafe? We'll be able to talk properly then. It'll have to be your shout. I don't have any money on me. Of course. Cancel my physio for me, will you, Gerald? This might take a while. See? No one got hurt, did they? Now, you can either watch me all morning or you can have a go yourself. Or I can go home. <laughs> Just take it in your hand. Like so. Come on. Just try it. Try Amy. Ethan. It's like anything new. You're only scared because you've never done it before. I'm not scared. Show me. <laughs> Aim a little lower to allow for the recoil. Now all you need to do is squeeze the trigger. Nice and gentle. I can't. Of course you can. It's a paper target, that's all it is. Yes.
You'll never guess what we've just been doing? I wouldn't like to try. <gasps> Ethan's just introduced me to a new hobby. I am going out crochet forever. <laughs> As if you've ever done a stitch of crochet in your life. That's all you know. I bet you didn't pick me for an amateur gunslinger either. What? Ethan took me to his gun club. I thought I would hate it. But it turns out she's a natural. Two bullseyes this morning, which is two more than me. Everyone okay for drugs? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Did I hear that right? A gun club? Yeah, she was a bit nervy at first, but once she fired off the first shot, look out Ferndale. What? We weren't rampaging through the streets, it was target practice. Ethan, have you ever worked in the States? Do you know how many gunshot wounds come through a big hospital like that in the space of one night? It's not pretty. Have you ever been shot? Any of you? I have. I know about guns. I know what they can do, all right? What is coming? I'll get another glass. Oh, no, no. Coffee's fine. Yeah, it all looks pretty standard to me. BP is 110 over 75. Pulse is 80. No change in his bowel habits and everything else is normal. You haven't caught him looking at me, have you? See, you are worried. I wouldn't care if he did recognise me. I'm not going to let that little toe rag stop me from doing my job, but don't you think it's a little bit odd? <sighs> MVA, medium speed, side impact collision. Right, straight through to recess. Oh, good. OK, well, that dressing should do the trick. If you have any more trouble at all, you just come straight back. Have you got any idea what you did to me? Let me go. My wife left me because of you. Years a long time to wait. That is not my fault. Let me go. One of these days when you think you're by yourself, you won't be. Remember that. Oh, whoa. Hey, are you okay? You look the way I felt this morning. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's just one of those days. You really should have been a doctor, not a lawyer. Handwriting's terrible. Just a bit of a dog's breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, I made it out eventually. Gone to see Yvonne at the hospital. Who's Yvonne, I said to myself. The only Yvonne I know is that Aboriginal tennis player, and that's going back a few years. I'm a friend of Fraser's. I had a bit of a fall. He was good enough to pop in and see me now and then. Oh, he's never mentioned you? We haven't known each other for very long. We're both keen gardeners, that's how we hit it off. I don't have the patience. Sorry? For gardening. Everything takes so long, doesn't it? Does Fraser know where you are? He might be wondering. Dad'll have given up looking for me by now. He'll be that mad. You mean Fraser? Fraser will be looking for you? Why does Kevin have a piece of paper with your name on it? It's Fraser, I know, not Kevin. Uh, Fraser, your husband? You've got your wires crossed. I'm not getting married. I've decided. Who's Kevin? Kevin's my big brother. He's in the seventh form. Someone must have passed him this note with your name on it. You do know he already has a girlfriend, don't you? One minute it's his paper target and the next is Joey Henderson's head. Felt so good. Probably needed to get it out of your system. Yeah, I'm thinking about joining the club, getting my gun license. Really? Yes. Really? Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> I just can't imagine wanting to, that's all. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things you can't imagine until they actually happen to you. Learning to shoot's one thing, but you wouldn't actually want a gun of your own, would you? Wouldn't I? Where would you keep it? Same place Ethan keeps his, in the bedside table. No, you couldn't know with a toddler in the house. Yeah, there is that. I guess I'd have to think about moving out. Oh, no, no, don't be silly. I'm sure we could work something out if we had to. He really keeps a gun in his bedroom. Yeah, and I haven't had a good look through the wardrobe yet. Who knows what he's got hidden in there? Right, he's ready for a top up. Everything ship shape in Bristol fashion, that's the spirit. Okay, point taken. I think silly English accent day is just about done. It's dash. Please don't make a big deal about this, but Leo threatened me. What? You know, one day he's going to get me on my own and I'll get what's coming to me, that sort of thing. Well, have you told Scotty? What's the point? Well, the least we can do is get security to march him off the premises. No, you, you treat him, you send him on his way, and then that'll be the end of it. Treat him for what? I'm having a hard time trying to find anything wrong with him. What if it's all a big put on? What if he knew you were working here? Hey, Trace, can I have a hand, please? Coming. Just drop it, will you? I'm sorry I told you now. 
What's can you done now? Oh, nothing out of the usual. That's the problem. They asked him to leave the gang. That was brave. What did he say? Trust me, babe. I know what I'm doing. Words to that effect. Well, I hate to say it, but you knew what you were getting yourself in for. Well, I thought I did. Do you love him? I think so. It's never going to be perfect, gang or no gang. I know. How would you feel if it ended now? Like, we hadn't really given each other a chance. Like, I lost someone I really care about. Well, there you go. Never mind the baggage. Just give it your best shot. She's been stealing cutlery from me piece by piece. I know she has. Sorry, who is? My living nurse. Not that I need one. I don't know what she does all day. Oh, here's Fraser now. Well you took your time. I've been waiting for you. I'm not in trouble, am I, Dad? What would you be in trouble for? I was sneaking out when you told me not to. No, you're not in trouble, but I think we should get you home now, eh? Thanks for calling. It's no trouble. And thanks for keeping an eye on her. We won't bother you again. Bye, Mom. Bye. It was very nice meeting you. You too, Deborah. You take care. Did you hear that? She called him Dad. She didn't even know his name a few minutes ago. That's how bad she is. Poor Fraser. It can't be much of a marriage. No. Tell me something, Leo. What do you think of the nursing staff when you were here up to scratch? What sort of question's that? Patient survey. You see, some of them react better to being threatened than others. The one that used to be a cop, for instance, well, she doesn't freak too easily. Once a pig, always a pig. She'll give what's coming to her. Okay, just one more test and I'll let you out of here. I thought you said there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, just to be sure. It's just a small thing called an arterial blood gas. It won't take long. Now, this could hurt, but you're up to it, right? What's the matter? Not so tough now. <laughs> you stay away from her. Now, you'd be best advised to keep your finger on that and get out of here. Hey, he's a big baby. He didn't like the arterial blood gas test. Well, according to this, he didn't need one. No, but he deserved one. Beg your pardon. We think he was faking his symptoms. Well, there's a little bit more to it than that, Telstra. No, I don't want to hear it. We do not torture the patients, Kip. Not if we want to keep working here. 